I'm hoping my microphone can protect this long enough for you guys at least to see this beautiful gun. Pop rope to the assist! <laughs> that was good. What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and as you can tell by the title of this video, we have another collection unboxing and it's been a minute since I have done one. But before we get into that, I obviously have a Polar Star. It's always like a Polar Star, then a collection, or a Polar Star, then an unboxing, or a Polar Star, and then a Polar Star, and then a Polar Star times three. Uh, if you haven't expected that from me after turning on all these videos, there's probably going to be a Polar Star in every video. Since it's been a while since I've done a collection, those two packages are the collection, and this one is the unboxing. If you guys guessed the correct price that I spent on that collection, I'll give you a hint. It ends in a zero this time. If you guessed that, I will send you a patch and a sticker free of charge. You guys have been doing pretty good on the last ones, but I think if I only give you guys a hint that it's zeros you will do really well so guess the price of what that those two boxes count the next two boxes together before we get into that though sale video from last week in mystery box i told you guys last week about the mystery boxes the sale video has done pretty well it's actually very different usually there's a lot of people that buy a little stuff this time there's been a few people that have bought a lot of stuff so if you guys need stuff go check the video out the description is there it is currently updated there's a lot of stuff that i still have for sale a decent amount of stuff got sold but the easier the more you guys buy from that the easier it is for me to do mystery boxes i do not gain any money when I sell mystery boxes sometimes I actually lose them last time I gave you guys really 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 good value for what I sold them for I'm gonna try and do that again because I appreciate you guys and I think this is a really good way that I can give back to you however that stuff is expensive it takes a lot of time for me as the squirrels are chasing each other around my house but yeah I really want to be able to do that before Christmas like I said I don't know if it'll end up happening it might be that I release them right before Christmas and then ship them out after that you guys kind of buy that as like a Christmas present yourself or something but that is the plan alrighty polar star time so I saw this on eBay again this is something I check eBay for polar stars I just think they're cool I love getting them you guys really like the videos of them um, I have like eight polar stars now I think I sold three of them in the video already up first is the upper and as you can tell by a very familiar rail system that many of you love and cherish for this gun we have a polar star mark 18 you guys that are gmr fanboys and love military and stuff saw the rail system and you're like ah that's awesome and then you saw the gng body and you're like ah that's atrocious um but this is a fusion engine gng m4 um it does not have any upgrades in the engine or anything it does have a pro win hop-up system and a nicer uh, inner barrel it looks like he has yellowed this i'm not exactly sure why i don't know if it's to be like oh this is an airsoft one but he does have a bcm vertical foregrip on here he has it the wrong direction i do not like in these direction i think it's way better when you flip it and you kind of pull the rifle into your shoulder that's real seal application though and personal opinion i guess but these fmg4 bodies are actually pretty nice these are like the asgi ones they're really light and they are pretty durable i love metal bodies so i really will never run a plastic body but for those of you that want to run a lighter build maybe those of you that are young Younger, it will be a little bit easier if you run this and the fusion engine you guys know is the best literally the best platform in the world for HPA honestly for anything except maybe like really nice umbrella builds or really really nice AEG builds up top here we have an aimpoint t1 repro of some sort and it looks like just a normal birdcage flash hider here on the front it does a little bit rusty but looks overall like a really solid gun and second in this he actually has his air rigs a little bit rusty here I don't know if he stored it somewhere but this uh, is actually kind of rusted shut. Uh oh. Yeah, this QD is really, really gummy. So I've actually I've seen some of these rusted a little bit, but that one's pretty bad. And then he comes with an amped airsoft SL key line, and looks like this is what he was running as his backpack. It's funny that he included the regulator in line, but did not include a tank, but also included another Daniel Offense. This is the longer rail system. I actually may try and throw this on on one of my builds. I love the Riz 2. These block builds are so nice. And it's just basically the same thing, just a little bit longer. You can tell right there if this one were on it, that actually looked kind of cool. It would come almost to the end. If you get some sort of cool flash out at 6 through there, that actually might be a really cool build. And last but certainly not least are these cheap P mags. I think these are considered like the E mags. They're like the green label ones. You can definitely feel that they're cheaper. They're not the really nice P mags. And then a basic GNG high cap. Ew. Oh, all right, long one first in a giant FedEx box. It's just me today on camera crew, so I'm gonna have to get real creative on how I do this. It always is nice when I have Josh or Rob or James helping me, but uh, it's time. I'm gonna have to figure this out myself. My burn pile is so much smaller since we burned all those boxes 
uh, about like a week or two ago, but it's starting to add up again. Alrighty, so gun number one from John. John ended up actually reaching out to me. He was like, hey man, I'm interested in selling my collection and I would prefer if I could sell it to you. I'd love to see it in a video. So thanks, John. I bought this all from him and you guys have to guess the price. If you guess the correct price, free patch and free sticker. So up first is actually something that I usually do not get into. I live in the Midwest, so this is a GMP walk. I've had, I believe, Two of these in the past, that is the gas blowback version for those of you that do not know of GMPs. It's basically the same kind of externally, but internally it is gas blowback. Um, these are actually pretty nice. I know a lot of people like to build super uh, stuff off this. Jared used to be into guns that were uh, gas blowbacks for a while, um, and then he realized that Polar Star was the way and it was more fun and then AEGs. But he used to only run stuff, and I know there's a lot of you guys that really like the realism aspect, and that's cool. Um, I don't need that for airsoft. I have my real AR-15 to do that, and so I do love this gun. I actually think this is in really nice shape, and it looks pretty cool, but I cannot use them because if I shot like five rounds out here in the Midwest right now, my magazine would freeze and it would stop working. Up next from John, we have gun number two. This is another kind of similar style M4A1 type build. This one is a KWA KM4 CQB. These things are awesome for starter guns. Um, they work really well for advanced level guns as well, but starter guns, they are really, really, really solid. Um, he's got a cool little ASG suppressor thing on here. I'm guessing this is the one with the flash hider. I'm not exactly 100% sure how to get it off. My fingers are cold. Oh yeah, this is one. So I've had one of these before. I don't know exactly which model this is, but it's pretty cool if you kind of want to run a suppressor and then be cool and throw it in your suppressor pouch when you don't want to go silent anymore and you want to go loud or whatever. Um, this is an EOTech. It has gotten shot out. Looks like he's got some fake Embus Repro. You can definitely tell the fake ones versus the real ones. First thing, they don't ever sit flat because they suck and you can get them for like $10 for the two of them. Um, so a little tip with Alec Mack 1-on-1. One -one. Internally, everything looks pretty good. Looks like John was really intentional to take care of his guns. This thing looks like it's honestly brand new, except the butt pad is off. I don't know if he just lost that or if it's somewhere else in here, but he did include the top rail as well as just the basic flash hider before he put this on. But this is a really nice setup. It's funny how different the magazines that are gas versus normal age and mid-caps are. This thing weighs probably five times what the mid-caps do. Pew, pew, pew. Or it'd be more like pew pew. Ksh, ksh. Help! Alrighty, box number two in the collection from John. This boy is thicker and by far heavier. I think he put his nicer stuff in what we just saw, but this thing is beautiful as well. He did a really good job packing it. He's definitely an older guy. You can tell these guys that are older that really know what they're doing and are really intentional to keep things packaging. It's you younger kids that I gotta watch out. Ooh. We're gonna save that boy for the end real quick. All right, to go over his accessories and gear real quick, looks like he was running a Condor plate carrier of some sort. This is a nice little OD green pattern. He also has another Condor plate carrier in here. This is a tan of some sort. I actually like how he kind of detached these. It makes it easier for shipping and fitting. Um, this one is actually a five-star gear one. Feels like Condor. I don't know the difference between Condor. It's probably made in the same factory in China, to be honest. It is an XL, and he's got some sort of nice coyote brown drip map on here. I believe these are the plates he made for his plate carrier. Um, honestly, pretty funny because I did the same thing. I did foam, cardboard, and then duct tape so that it's waterproof in my cry JPC because I wasn't trying to wear those plastic ones that kind of dig into your shoulders and your sides every time you crouch or move or run. All right, boys, before we get into the last two guns, I'm going to do a lightning round of his accessories and stuff. Uh, we got some Elite Force BBs right here. There's a point twos. We got point two five bios. We got some green gas that has been taped, which is good. Um, this is a Raptor Airsoft uh, nunchuck battery. My man has so many batteries. He included four of these Venom 7.4 lipos that are brand new in packaging so i don't know if he just ran one and then decided to kind of have it like this and then he also included a 9.6 as the rain is starting to come in um he also included the kdb mid caps uh you guys know if you watch any of my videos i actually hate these mid caps they feel great externally but they do not feed heavy bbs hardly at all so it is what it is. Up next, we also have his goggles, I believe. These are just Lancer Tactical ones. Yeah, it looks like the band's actually pretty nice and the lens is a nice clear. Um, these are probably pretty cheap, but like an ESS uh, profile goggle repro. We got his paintball mask. This one looks like it's definitely gonna be a loner one. And then in here we have his duck pouch, which I believe are some Mo magazines. Yeah, so we have some MP5 mags, hint, hint. 
We also have some AK mags, hint, hint. I got a comment like last video or the one before that was like, hey, Alec Mag, I'll finally watch your videos and maybe actually buy something if you have more than just M4s. I'm sorry, that's what most people run and most people sell, so I get them. I, but I like other guns. I love MP5s. I am eh about AKs, but these beta mags actually feel really good. So the second to last gun is actually one of these, like, I think this is like the Lancer Tactical Beta AK. This one is just a parts gun. It does not have all the pieces and stuff. I think he said he got this and then it broke or something, but I'm not 100% sure. It looks like it's in pretty decent condition, so I don't know if it just came from the factory not in great shape. It has some of the parts, just not all of them. It's starting to really come down a little bit. All right, so I can hopefully get out of here before it rains my camera out. This is an HK. MP5, dude, this is so exciting. Um, if you guys have been playing any sort of Cold War, you know that the MP5 is broken. I'm not gonna lie, I've been absolutely dropping bodies playing yesterday. Um, this one actually has the red dot version built in. That's actually pretty cool. I'm hoping my microphone can protect this long enough for you guys at least to see this beautiful gun, but this is an HK MP5. Man, this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it, this is like the MP5 SD style. So you have this little long handguard up here. Um, you probably get increased bullet velocity and range with this or damage or something, but you can't get as ADS sight if we're going by Cold War rules. Um, I actually really like the full stock versions better, but these uh, little collapsible stocks are actually really nice too. And I believe this is like the sport line version that is a little bit cheaper. But this has been Alec Mac 101. I love you guys. Hopefully you were having a great Thanksgiving and I will see you guys soon. Wish your boy luck. I gotta get all this inside.